I'm Kalinda, and today I'm going to talk to you about perspective. Now, before I get into the nitty gritty details, I want to give you a bit of a backstory about how perspective impacted my world. So in 2009, um, one of my favorite people on the planet was actually diagnosed with lung cancer. And it was my uncle. He was my entire world, was my go-to guy. I was very close to him. He was very close to everybody. So um, what had happened was when he was diagnosed, it, it hurt, it hurt really bad. And I had spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to help him, how to save him. Um, I quickly learned that you can't save anybody. They have to want to save themselves. And his mission was quality, not quantity. So um, that journey, it took a, a couple of turns. He ended up passing away April 28th of 2009. And when he passed away, my world crumbled. So I literally couldn't get out of bed. I was diagnosed with anxiety and panic attack disorders. And I couldn't function. Grief literally consumed me. And it doesn't make sense for some people, but... I am totally grateful that I was able to love someone that much in this life um, because I know that everyone doesn't get that opportunity. Now, that journey involved many struggles. So I was experiencing extreme pain in my side. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. The doctors didn't have answers. The specialists didn't have answers. It was a super frustrating um, path and it, always led nowhere is how it felt. So I got to meet several people along the way and they all had their own superpowers in their own right. But it was one just led to the next that led to the next. And I, at the time I felt like I was on a path with no answers. And, um, one day I, was taken to emergency because I was bleeding from the colon every 15 minutes. I was filling a toilet bowl with blood, not to be too graphic, but it, it happened. And, um, I thought for sure that day I was going to be gone that night. Um, I ended up getting booked in for a CT scan and it had been a two year struggle at that point. So I promised myself that whatever the answer was this time, because it always came back with nothing, no matter what test I had. This time, if the test came back and they said it was nothing, I knew I had to find another way. There had to be another way because everything that I was doing wasn't working and I wasn't getting any better. 36, not being able to function, I mean, it's not okay. And I, I had already spent four nights a week in emergency for about a year. Um, doc, I was told this is as good as it gets more times than what I can count. That's not good words to hear. And of course I had the CT scan and of course it came back. There's nothing wrong. So I knew I, it, it couldn't be anything medical. And if it was, they weren't going to get it. I, I had to accept that. And a friend had come pick me up from the hospital that day. And she handed me this book, Andy Andrews, it's The Noticer. Highly recommend it. It's all about perspective. And I didn't want to read another book. I had five on the go. It was, I, I took it to be polite and <laughs> I put it on my nightstand and I actually didn't think I was going to read it. I, I got the book and I was reading the book. And by the time I finished reading it, 169 pages, my anxiety dropped by 80%. And I learned the power of perspective. So usually 
what would happen is when it came to the birth date or the anniversary of my uncle's um, death. So it was February 22nd was his birthday. And then April 28th was the day that he died. I would always throw myself a pity party, right? I miss him more than normal. So he passed away 2009, 2011. I decided February 22nd, that was the day that we were fighting for because that would have been his 70th birthday. And when he was first diagnosed with cancer, they gave him two years. So February 22nd of 2011 was gonna be the ultimate pity party because that was the day I was fighting for. I had read the noticer. And so I thought, mm, you know what? This year is gonna be different. This year, instead of throwing a pity party, I am going to order myself a copy of that book. And I ordered a copy of the book I have never looked at a publishing date in my life, ever. It was, I, I didn't even know an author. I mean, outside of Judy Bloom and um, uh, Shakespeare and James Patterson, I, I never even knew of an author. So that book was actually published on April 28, 2009, the day that my world fell apart and I got it when um, it was my mission, right? So I got it February 22nd of 2011, which is the day I was fighting for. And it was the one thing that started to put my life back together. It was so exciting. And so I, I don't know how many times I've told that story. I've told that story like a bajillion times. And one time I had this friend and uh, she came in and she gave me these seeds after reading that book. So it's, uh, it's a package of seeds and a fork. I've, I've always kept it. And so when you read that book, you will understand the meaning behind the seeds and the fork. It's powerful. And um, my journey carried on. I had a friend tell me about um, another practitioner. Um, I mean, I would have tried anything to feel better. So my anxiety had improved, but it was still lingering. There was still something holding on. And I ended up um, finding this practitioner that helped me understand that emotion is tied to old memories. I since, since have come to call it an emotional immune system. And when I work with clients, um, it's being able to detect the emotion tied to old memories and so that they can actually be released. It's not a band-aid. It's, it's helping your mind detach from the trauma of an old memory and so that you're free to move forward. That was a big powerful lesson that that journey taught me. And I'm happy to report that I was able to beat anxiety disorder forever in <laughs> in January of 2012 was my last panic attack because I was able to um, figure out the emotion tied to an old memory from when I was eight. Once I released that, I never had another panic attack again. Super exciting stuff. And life has only got better from there. So um, if you're in a tough spot, I encourage you to dig into perspective, unravel the belief systems that you have collected, pivot from your BS, and make life better than you can ever imagine. Deal? All right.